Hello everyone and welcome to this logo design tutorial. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to design a simple letter logo. Now, no special software is required to pull this off. You can visit vectorinc.io in any mobile or desktop web browser if you wish to follow along and try this yourself. Now to begin, we're gonna click on Start Designing. That'll take us into the app. And once you're in the app, you can click on the new design button, or if you're logged in, you can click on this plus button to go into the canvas. And once you're in the canvas, we're going to want to use this default document size. So click on default. And the first thing we're going to want to do is add text to the canvas. So click on the text icon here in the toolbar. And once the text window is up, we're going to scroll down the fonts until we find Constantine bold and then click in the text box and add capital S and capital J. Then click Save. Once the S and J is on the canvas, select it and then select the top right transform handle so there's only one left. You just want to tap it one time and then scale the S and the J up to about that size. And then click on the text icon over here to the right to open up the text control panel and then we're going to select text to path and then close this panel here. And what that did is it, it transformed our text object into a vector path object. So now what we want to do is separate the S from the J because you notice when you click on either letter, they are both selected together. And that is because they are a united compound path. What we want to do is separate them so we can overlap the J on top of the S. So to do that, we're going to activate the point tool over here in the toolbar. And with the S and the J selected, we're going to open up the path control panel and click separate. Now that just separated the letters, but we also lost our color. So to get that back, let's go to the fill color panel and the color is already at black. So all we need to do at this point is drag the alpha channel all the way up. Now let's close that. Now from here, we're going to activate the selection tool again, select the J letter, and then drag the J over the S like so. And if the snapping is bothersome, you can turn it off by tapping on this magnet icon here. Right? That way you can align it up to your liking. Now let's zoom in a bit. and highlight both letters together and then activate the path builder tool. Now, all we want to do at this point with the path builder tool is take this line, this line and this line. So let's activate join mode, which is this pencil icon here in the bottom left and drag it over this line here, this line, and this line. So you should have something like this. Next, what you want to do is open up the Path Builder Tool Control Panel and change the result to Replace None. That way, nothing on the screen gets replaced. The letter J and the letter S stay in place. The only change that occurs is these three lines will now be on the canvas when we activate the selection tool. So let's activate the selection tool. And we have our three lines selected. Now at this point, these three lines are united. So we want to separate them as well. So let's activate the point tool, open up the path control panel and tap separate. And like before we lost our color, so we're going to we want to add our stroke color to this. We want to add stroke color. So open up the stroke color panel and then turn the alpha channel all the way up and set this stroke color to white here in the color wheel. And once that's done, we're going to open up the stroke control panel and give them some width. Set the width to about six. Make sure scaling strokes is selected so that way when you zoom in on the canvas the strokes aren't aren't changing 
the stroke width aren't, isn't changing. The stroke will actually be scaling with the canvas as you zoom in and out. And then close that. Now what we want to do is we want to select each of these and bring them down a little bit to give it that shadowy effect. So let's activate the selection tool. I'm going to zoom in to this top line first. Select it and drag it down. Drag it down to about right here. So that way there's a little bit of space and it's not overlapping on the yes. And then we're going to scale it up a little bit. Drag it down a little bit. So that way you're not seeing the ends of this line overlapping on the J or the S. It just looks like it's been sliced across. And then we're going to we'll fix this little riffraff later. So zoom out. We're going to zoom in on this line down here. Tap it and bring it down. Scale it up a little bit. And try to get it to line up with the S the best you can. Zoom out, and then zoom in on this bottom line. Select it and scale it up a little bit and bring it down and line it up with the S. Then zoom out. This one is still a little off. I think that's good. Okay. So as you can see, it's coming along. Now what we want to do is convert these strokes to paths. And then we're going to unite the S and J letter. And then we're going to subtract the strokes or the new paths, the lines, from the combined S and J letter. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So we're going to highlight only the strokes, like so. Then open up the stroke control panel and then select stroke to path. That just converted our strokes into paths. Now what we want to do is activate the multi-select option and then tap on the J, tap on the S, open up the Boolean control panel and tap unite. So that just merged the S and the J into one compound path again and it brought brought them to the front so we want to send them to the back so click on send to back right here and now we're going to highlight everything open up the boolean control panels again and click subtract and what this does is it took our lines and cut them, cut the S and the J with our lines. So now everything has been joined together. So with that, now we can go up here and fix fix this little extra that's hanging off. So we're going to select this corner here and delete it. Select these corners here. We can delete them. This is using the point tool and then try to line up this curve here. You can double tap on a point to give it, um, to smoothen it out. And zoom out. Remember, we're doing all this using the point tool. I'm going to zoom in on this one, make sure everything looks okay. It's hanging, this is hanging a little bit, so we can zoom all the way in and click on that, delete it. Do the same over here. Click on this point and delete it. And that bottom one looks fine. So yeah, with the point tool, you can go in and edit each 
individual point on any path object. And if you're a perfectionist like myself, you're going to love this tool. So now this S and the J is all joined together. And there you have it. There's our logo. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and app updates for Vector Inc. Ciao.